Dear Misty, I'm really interested in this guy that works with me, but I don't know how to approach the situation. We are allowed to date co-workers, but he's two years younger than me, and I'm not even sure if he likes guys. Do you have any advice? Alright, so... If you're allowed to date your coworkers, you're obviously allowed to hang out with them. My advice would be, and again, I don't know how old you are. I don't know if the two years is a big deal or not. If you're in high school, the two years younger might be a big deal. If you're in college, it's not. If you're an adult, it's definitely not. Um, but if you work together, you're obviously allowed to hang out. If you're, if you, but but again, if your job lets you date each other, it'll definitely let you hang out. So why don't you get a bunch of people together and do a group function? Find something worth celebrating. Maybe it's your coworker's birthday, or maybe it's, hey, let's all hang out and do a night at the movies. I know a lot of the girls at Lips, we all hang out after work. A lot of the girls at Tramp House, on Sunday nights, we all go to dinner after the show. Um, a lot of people at work do this, like, uh, Cheesecake Factory in Aventura, I worked there for a long time, um, they all went to, um, after work, we all went to a bar in Aventura, I can't remember what it's called. So, find something that everybody at work would like to do, that way there's no pressure, it's not a one-on-one -on -one situation. That way you could be like, hey, we're all going for drinks at so-and-so, or if you're too young, be like, hey, we're all going to Chili's for dinner, or we're all going to the movies, or whatever, and get him out of work, so his guard is let down, and he can be real with you. Because a lot of times when you're at work, you want to be, you know, perfect. You know, at, when I was at Cheesecake Factory, I was a trainer, a DT for them for a long time. And I didn't want people to know I did drag. Oh, I actually, I didn't care if they knew I did drag, but I didn't want my customers yelling, Hey, Misty. I used my boy name. Um, and I worked 45 minutes from Fort Lauderdale so that, you know, most people that came didn't know who I was. Um... But yeah, because I don't, because when people call me Misty, I suddenly become Misty, and I was very like, you know, boy trying to work. Um, so yeah, get him out of the work environment, get him into a, a comfortable place where there's a bunch of friends around, and go from there. And then A, you're going to either be more attracted to him or less attracted to him. Be like, ooh, he drinks too much, or I don't like him out of work. Or you're like, oh my gosh, he's so sweet. And that's going to lead to what do you do next? What do you do next? Um, get one of the girls in your group to help you. Get the, her to ask the questions like, do you have a boyfriend? Do you like boys or girls? Not right away. It has to be much later, like after you guys are all having a lot of fun. Just in case he does like girls, don't make sure it's not an obvious situation like so, do you like boys? You know, with you right here pointing at you, like, you know, making both of you uncomfortable. Make sure it's a little more discreet and like, hey, I was just wondering, do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? You know, and kind of pry and, and find out. Or you could play a game, like, um, not a truth or dare, but like a question. Oh, I know, a great game. We used to play in youth group. Um, two truths, one lie. And it's a fun game. Everyone goes in a circle and, and you say, say two truths about yourself and one lie. And the trick is you can't tell them which are true and which are lies. So two truths, one lie. I've been skydiving. I was on swim team for seven years and I'm the oldest of seven children. And everyone around has to guess which one's the truth, which is the lie. The lie is I've never been skydiving. I am the oldest of seven kids and I was on swim team. So, but... This will help you pull out interesting facts, like, oh, scuba diving, that's not something I talk about on a regular basis. You know, so he might dig deep and be like, my ex-girlfriend, my ex-boyfriend, or whatever. And you can even do the same thing, like, I've been in love with three different guys, as one of your truth or lies, or whatever, and see if that, what kind of reaction that instirs in him. You can even make one of your truths, I'm very attracted to somebody at this table. You know, and then 
you know, if the barriers come down, it's okay to go up to him and be like, I really enjoy hanging out with you. I'd like to spend more time with you and see what happens, you know? But don't, it, just in case he rejects you or is not gay, don't be like, I'm in love with you. I want to hang out with you, you know? Just be like, hey, I really enjoy your company. We should hang out sometime. Put the ball in his court. That's always safe. Loving you is easy.